Hello, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. Psalm 68, 28. Here's what it starts with. It says, summon your power, O God, by which you have worked for us. I love that. Some, it's the, this, this is, the psalmist is talking to God. The God who's responsible for everything. The God of all creation. The God of all peoples. The God of all nations. The God of power over life and death. And the psalmist says, summon your power, O God, by which... You have worked for us. Think about that for a moment. We can call upon the Almighty God to take and summon His power, His might. What's wrapped up in that? Oh, it's an ability to do the miraculous. It's an ability to do things that have never been done or could be done otherwise. But the power of God is so much more than that. The power of God includes his wisdom. It includes his foresight. It includes his acute awareness of not only what we need, but when we need it. Because everything's got its place in time. There's a reason it's Ready, aim, fire. Three good things to do, but you never want to fire, aim, and then be ready. You got to get them in order. It's ready, aim, fire, not ready, fire, aim. Still won't work. So this idea of God summoning his power means that, that, that God in his wisdom in the right time is being called upon to work for us. Now, can I say that this sounds a little bit selfish? I mean, I ought to be saying, summon your power, O oh God, to infuse me with abilities to do for you. Yet we live in a world where all of us have a tendency to be trying to figure out how we take care of ourselves and our loved ones. The nice thing about that is, God wants to take care of us. Think about the instruction Jesus gave to love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus even recognized we are to have a healthy love for ourselves. We are created by God for his good purposes and his good works, but to do those, we need to be who we can be. The key then is it's a good plea to say, summon your power, O God, by which you have worked for us. Because when we're who we can be, we best work for him, which should be our goal in this life. So I want to call upon God to summon his power. The power that Paul said in Ephesians 1.19 is immeasurably great. Immeasurably great. Can't be measured. Immeasurably great toward us who believe. Amen. So I don't know what you're going through today, but my video thought for the day is make that cry. Summon your power, O oh God by which you have worked for us, so we can work for you. See you tomorrow.